has it ever happened to you that you ask yourself, you know, I've been working hard, I've been trying to make inroads into this or into that, and it doesn't seem to be working. You know, if, if that's the question you have asked, there is an answer in the scriptures. And I'd like to read it from Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 10. It says, you shall give to him freely, and your heart shall not be grudging when you give to him. Because for this the Lord your God will bless you in all your work and in all that you undertake. In verse 7, we see that the Lord here is talking to give to the poor. To people, for whatever reason, have become poor, either the economy went south, or war, or refugees, or, I mean, I was poor when I was a little boy because my father was drinking and gambling, I didn't have food to eat. Whatever the reason is, he says you should give unto the poor. And it says here, that we should give freely. In other words, not under any compulsion and, and tight, uh, hand, holding our hands tight and, and not being generous. And it says here that we should not be doing that grudgingly. In other words, we should be happy to help other people in need. You know, sometimes when things don't go your way, for example, in marriage, and, and you feel you're not getting a better deal than you should. Maybe it's a time for you to start doing nice things to your wife. Maybe it's the time for you to start giving rather than expecting to receive. When the time is that the business is going down, instead of thinking why things don't work, maybe it's time for you to go a second mile in your business to offer a free gift or a special service, kind words, encouragement, so that people will be happy to see you. Maybe, like it says in this verse, it's time for you to start giving to other people, people in need, those who are poor. Look what it says, if you and I do that, what will happen to us? It says, because of this. In other words, the Hebrew word here, galal, is on account or for the sake of what you have done. Because you have given to the poor. On account of you giving to the poor. For the sake of giving to the poor. I'm going to do the following, he says. God will bless you in all your work. God will bless you. You see, when you and I give to the poor, like what we're doing here at China Ministries, we're giving to uh, refugees, to orphans, to displaced people, to impoverished people, provide food, provide firewood, provide them with essentials for living, help them renovate or build their home. When we do that, the Lord says, on account of that, because of that, for the sake of what you have done for the poor, I'm going to bless you. Now, blessing is divine enablement to help us to get to the desired result. So it doesn't matter what we do. He says here, actually, the Lord will bless you in all your work and in all that you undertake. In other words, whatever you and I do, if we are in a business, for example, or a ministry, or you have an enterprise, or you have um, some kind of activity, product that you're producing or service that you're providing. God says, when you give, I'm going to bless you in that area of your meaningful business engagement. Maybe it's a new CD you want to publish. Maybe it's a book you want to publish. Maybe it's a career you want to establish, a doctor or an accountant, or, or you want to be in the media, or you want to be car mechanic, whatever the business you're in. He says, I'm going to bless you in that business. God is promising, it's connecting actually, you and my giving to the end results of our activity. It, and, and another thing that is important here to notice, sometimes people misunderstand this. You know, they think, oh, God is going to give me and I have to do nothing. My bank account is going to be filled up. No, 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 that's not what the blessing is for. The blessing is, so when you give for the poor, 
When you give for the needy, God says, I'm going to bless you. In other words, I'm going to establish a context for you that when you engage in a business or undertaking in what you do, that is going to prosper. That's going to go ahead. You are going to succeed in it. It says here, in all of your undertakings. So it's so important that you and I understand that if we want now to benefit from that blessing once we have given, we have to take action in whatever area we wanted good results in. If it is in our relationship with our spouse, then what is it that I, as a husband, need to do to improve my relation? Not what is it that my wife needs to do. She needs to ask herself that. But I need to ask myself what I need to do. Uh, if, if it is a business that I'm doing, then I have to ask myself, what is it that I need to do? And then do it. Then engage in it with full force, with full energy, with full emotion, with wisdom and spirit, and do it with all of my might. And it says here, when I do that, God's blessing has already been given to me, and I will succeed. So it's so important that we realize that if we want to reap a harvest in our lives, we need to sow first in our lives. There is no one who has ever succeeded by just taking from others and without giving. And as I said, that's in, not only in the kingdom of God, this, giving to the poor, giving to the needy, so God will bestow blessing upon me, so when I do something, I will succeed in it, or you, when you do something, you will succeed in it. But it's also a marriage relationship. If you want to succeed in that marriage relationship, now that you have given to the poor, you have given to the needy, God has given you the blessing, so now you have to engage, to employ that blessing, and do your part, what you need to do, to make that relationship to work out properly, in terms of wife, to love her, to take care of her, to kiss her, to hug her, to, to say I love you, and, and do all the things that you need to do in terms of business, to not cut corners, to learn from those people who have succeeded and do what they have been doing so you will succeed as well, and, and to take care of customers, to make the best products you can, and to serve if you have a service that you're providing, to be the best employer that you can be, to help the company where you are working to go ahead, to help your boss succeed, because when he succeeds, when his company succeeds, you're going to succeed. If he doesn't succeed, if, if he loses in his income, he might have to lay you off. It, it says in, 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 to the Israelites, Jeremiah said to the Israelites when they were in Babylon, he says, pray for the well-being of the city, for in its well-being will your well-being be. In other words, when your company, when your city, when your country is doing well, it will be well with you as well. So it's so clearly, if we don't sow, we don't reap. We cannot reap first. We need to sow first. Let us be sowers and let us take that blessing and increase it for the glory of God.